Welcome to an exploration of Kali, the enigmatic goddess of destruction in the Hindu pantheon. And in this video, we will unravel the rich tapestry of her mythic tales, divine attributes, and profound symbolism. From her awe-inspiring dance of destruction to her transformative impact on art, culture, and the lives of her devotees around the globe. Let's get to it. Hindu mythology is an intricate web of tales, beliefs, and characters that span millennia. A standout figure within this complex pantheon is Kali, the goddess of destruction. Known for her raw, untamed power, Kali's origins reveal a fascinating journey through the history of Hindu thought. There are many different stories about Kali's beginnings, but we will focus on the one in the Devi Mahatmya. The first recorded mention of Kali appears in the Devi Mahatmya, an ancient Sanskrit text dating back to the 5th century CE. This seminal text forms a part of the Makandeya Purana, one of the 18 major Puranas in Hindu literature. It chronicles the exploits of various goddesses and highlights the central role of feminine energy, or Shakti, in the cosmic drama. The legend holds in the Devi Mahatmya that Kali emerged from the brow of the great goddess Durga during a fierce battle against the demon Raktabija and his demonic forces. Kali's ferocity and unbridled power swiftly turned the tide in favor of the gods, killing Raktabija and marking the beginning of her association with destruction and renewal. However, some scholars argue that Kali's origins extend even further back to the Vedic period, which lasted from approximately 1500 to 500 BCE. They trace her roots to the goddess Nirti, who personified death, dissolution, and decay. Nirti was a dark and fearsome figure, often associated with misfortune and adversity. Over time, as Hindu thought evolved, the characteristics of Nirti seem to have merged with the concept of Kali, resulting in the powerful and enigmatic goddess we know today. Kali's origins can also be linked to the broader context of the Hindu trinity of goddesses, known as the Tridevi, which includes Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge and learning, Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth and prosperity, and Parvati, the goddess of love and devotion. Kali is considered an aspect of Parvati, representing the darker, more destructive side of the divine feminine. In essence, Kali's origins are a testament to the rich and diverse tapestry of Hindu mythology. Her roots in ancient texts and connections to other goddesses reveal a complex and fascinating deity. The iconography of Kali is both captivating and unsettling, a vivid portrayal of the potent forces she embodies. Her appearance is undeniably striking, revealing a goddess unlike any other within the Hindu pantheon. Imagine a dark-skinned, four-armed goddess standing tall and fierce. Her wild, disheveled hair cascades down her back like a torrent of black water, a testament to her untamed nature. Her bloodshot eyes, filled with the fire of destruction and creation, pierce through the darkness, reflecting an intensity that's almost palpable. Her tongue, blood-red and protruding menacingly from her mouth, signifies her thirst for annihilation and her insatiable appetite for conquering darkness. Now let's delve deeper into the macabre details of Kali's adornments. Around her neck hangs a garland of severed heads, each representing a different aspect of human ego and the transient nature of life. This grisly necklace serves as a reminder of the illusory world and the ultimate triumph of truth over falsehood. Kali's waist is wrapped in a skirt of dismembered arms, a symbol of karma and the inescapable consequences of one's actions. These severed limbs evoke the notion that every action has a reaction and that the cosmic balance must be maintained. In her four arms, Kaylee wields symbols of both destruction and liberation. One hand holds a sword, which she uses to sever the bonds of ignorance and delusion, while another grasps a severed head, symbolizing the detachment of ego. Her other two hands are held in gestures of reassurance and blessing, signifying her protective and nurturing qualities. Kaylee's dark complexion is of particular significance, as it represents the void from which all creation emerges and to which it ultimately dissolves. Her darkness transcends the limitations of color and form, embodying the boundless, all-encompassing nature of the divine. At Kali's feet lies her consort, Shiva, who is often depicted lying down or in a state of meditation. This imagery reinforces the interconnectedness of creation and destruction, with Shiva representing the creative, preserving force and Kali personifying the destructive, transformative power. In essence, Kali's iconography is a masterful fusion of symbolism and artistry. 
capturing the essence of a goddess who transcends the boundaries of convention. Her fearsome appearance, far from being solely a depiction of terror, is a vivid reminder of the cyclical nature of existence. Her appearance has fostered so many tales about her. One of the most enthralling and significant tales involving Kali is her Dance of Destruction, a cosmic event that both highlights her terrifying power and emphasizes the delicate balance between creation and annihilation. The tale begins with the demon Raktabija, a formidable foe whose name translates to Bloodseed. This fearsome adversary possessed a unique and seemingly invincible ability. With each drop of his blood that touched the earth, a new demon would arise, equal in strength and ferocity to Raktabiya himself. As the demon's reign of terror grew, the gods found themselves unable to vanquish him and his ever-expanding army. In desperation, the gods turned to the great goddess Durga for assistance. Durga, the epitome of divine feminine power and protection, faced Raktabisha and his demonic horde in a titanic battle. As the clash intensified, Durga furrowed her brow, and from the depths of her divine anger and concentration, Kali emerged. Kali entered the battlefield with unparalleled ferocity, her dark form a whirlwind of destruction. With each swing of her sword, she decapitated the demons, while her blood-red tongue lapped up Raktabija's blood, preventing it from spawning more adversaries. Kali's terrifying power proved too much for the demon army, which was swiftly vanquished. But the end of the battle did not signal the end of Kali's fury. Her bloodlust was insatiable, and she began a wild, frenzied dance that threatened the very fabric of the cosmos. The gods, fearing that Kali's dance would lead to the destruction of the universe, implored Shiva, her consort, to intervene. In an act of divine love and sacrifice, Shiva lay down among the corpses that littered the battlefield. As Kali danced, she stepped on her husband's body, unaware of his presence. Upon realizing her mistake, Kali's frenzied dance came to an abrupt halt. She stuck out her tongue in shame and remorse, and the world was saved from the brink of destruction. This tale illuminates the profound union between Shiva and Kali, a divine partnership that encompasses the full spectrum of cosmic forces. Shiva, as the creative and preserving aspect, is the perfect complement to Kali's destructive and transformative energy. Together, they maintain the delicate balance of the universe, ensuring that life and death, chaos and order, remain in perfect harmony. As we've seen thus far, Kali is far from a one-dimensional goddess. Her persona is a complex tapestry of attributes and roles that reflect the multifaceted nature of existence itself. One of the most poignant aspects of Kali's character is her role as the Divine Feminine, the all-encompassing and nurturing force that underlies creation. While her destructive power is undeniably formidable, it's essential to recognize that Kali's destructive energy is not solely for the sake of annihilation. Instead, her destruction paves the way for renewal and regeneration, making her an integral part of the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. Kali's compassionate side is perhaps most evident in her role as a mother. Despite her fearsome appearance, Kaylee is a loving and protective maternal figure who nurtures her devotees and guides them on their spiritual journeys. As the ultimate source of all creation, Kali is the cosmic womb from which all life springs, making her the embodiment of the Divine Mother. In addition to her more nurturing roles, Kali is also a potent force in the realm of Tantra a set of esoteric practices and beliefs that seek to merge the individual soul with the divine. As the embodiment of the fierce, transformative energy of Shakti, Kali is revered as a guide and teacher in tantric traditions. Through her, spiritual seekers embark on the path of self-discovery, embracing the dissolution of the ego and the transcendental experience of the divine. Kali's many faces also include her warrior aspect, which is exemplified by her role in the battle against Raktabiya, and her victory over the demon army. As a warrior, Kali is a symbol of courage, strength, and protection, and her worshippers often invoke her to help them face their own inner demons and conquer adversity. In essence, Kali's multifaceted nature is a testament to the richness and complexity of the divine feminine. She embodies the full spectrum of existence, from the tender love of a mother to the terrifying power of a destroyer, reflecting the inherent duality and unity of the cosmos. 
Kali's complex nature is reflected in the myriad ways her devotees worship and honor her. From traditional rituals to contemporary practices, Kali's worship encompasses a diverse array of customs and celebrations that testify to her enduring relevance and appeal. One of the most significant festivals dedicated to Kali is Kali Puja, celebrated during the month of Karti, which typically falls between October and November. Coinciding with the more widely observed festival of Diwali, Kali Puja is primarily celebrated in the Indian states of West Bengal, Odisha, Assam, and Tripura. Kali Puja is a vibrant and elaborate affair, with devotees honoring the goddess through intricate rituals and offerings. Preparations for the festival often begin weeks in advance, as homes and temples are cleaned and adorned with colorful decorations and lights. Intricate clay idols of Kali are crafted by skilled artisans, capturing the goddess's fierce beauty and power. On the night of Kali Puja, devotees gather in homes and temples to offer their prayers and seek Kali's blessings. Ritual offerings include flowers, incense, sweets, and fruits, as well as more elaborate items like blood sacrifices, though the latter is now less common due to legal and ethical concerns. The worship of Kali is accompanied by the recitation of sacred hymns and mantras, invoking her divine presence and beseeching her protection, wisdom, and guidance. Kali's timeless allure has not been confined to the realm of myth and religious devotion. Her enigmatic persona has permeated various aspects of popular culture and has been interpreted and reimagined in numerous ways, reflecting her continuing relevance and the enduring fascination she inspires. In literature, Kali has been depicted and analyzed by writers from diverse cultural backgrounds, from the poetry of 19th century Indian mystic Ramprasad Sen to the novels of contemporary authors like Dan Simmons and Kali Wallace, Kali's presence has inspired creativity and captivated readers across generations. Visual arts, too, have been profoundly influenced by Kali's iconography. Her striking appearance has been a source of inspiration for artists throughout history, with her image appearing in traditional Indian paintings and sculptures, as well as in contemporary art installations and street art. This wide-ranging artistic engagement with Kali underscores her enduring appeal and the potency of her symbolism. Modern interpretations of Kali often emphasize her role as a symbol of female empowerment and resistance against oppressive systems. Feminist movements in India and abroad have embraced Kali as a potent symbol of strength, resilience, and the transformative power of female energy. This contemporary engagement with Kali highlights her adaptability and the diverse ways in which her story and persona can be interpreted and reimagined. What do you think? Have you ever heard the tale of Kali prior to today? Are you familiar with any other Hindu gods and folklore tales? If so, which are your favorites? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And as always, please like and subscribe for more content just like this. Until next time.